Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Salesforce Scenarios. So you know that in Salesforce flows we have different different choice set that is one is uh, choices in flows, pick list choice set in flows and record choice set in flows. So today this video I'll be dedicating to this particular important topic in which I'll be uh, sharing you my knowledge on this particular specific content so that we are able to make sure that yes we have the difference between choices, pick list choice set and request choice set in Salesforce flow and in which conditions we are using all these uh, choice sets okay so let's get started so agenda for today meeting is that you know how to use choices in flows how to use pick list choice set in flows and how to use record choice set in flows it will be a very simple topic but still we need to understand the in-depth of these particular choices in Salesforce flows now I'll be moving into my next uh, slide that is scenario for today. So we are creating an opportunity and using all the choice sets available in the Salesforce flow like choice, pick list choice set and request choice set, right? So without wasting our time, what I'll be doing today is that I'll be jumping into my Salesforce flow screen. That's my browser screen. So what I'll be doing, I'll be going there and I'll be hitting on home. Now in quick find, I'll be typing flaws because I need to create the new flow, right? So flow come under process automation to I'll be hitting on flows. Okay. So for creating the new flow, I need to hit on this new flow button. I hit on this new flow button. So automatically it will be ending into my new tab flow builder. So I need to create the screen flow hitting on next how to how do you want to start building I'll be using free form so let's say what we need to do is that first I need to drag and drop in one screen and I'll be typing the label of this particular screen as screen one and in the whole scenario I'll be using only this screen right so let's say I want to create the opportunity because I want to create the opportunity related to the account. I want to select the account in that opportunity for which I am creating the opportunity. Okay. So for you know that there are some <coughs> required fields in opportunity, right? So what we need to do is that first I'll be going to home screen and I'll be hitting on this opportunity tab and I'll be hitting on new button there. Okay. So first we will see that what all fields I'll be using today. So there are some important and required fields that is opportunity name, close date, stage, right? So I'll be taking all these mandatory fields as well. And one more field I have created in opportunity itself that is a rating field and I have even for this particular purpose so that I can be able to explain you that how we can be able to use the choice. Okay, so I'll be using that field as well. So again going to my flow screen. So what here I need to do is that I need to take the text dragging and dropping text from here and I need to make sure that what will be the label of text that is opportunity name API will be the same and I'll be making it required. Now this is the first field which I am using here. Now second field what I need to do is that I will be using the date field. Dragging and dropping date from here and typing the label for date field as close date because that is the mandatory field which we need to use while creating the opportunity. So that will be close date. Okay. Now I will be using two more fields. First I'll use for the request choice set, second I'll use for the opportunity stage, third I will use for the choice, right? So guys now what we are doing is that I need to store the rating value here in my flow. So for that what I'll be doing is that I'll be having the radio buttons here because you know that uh, a rating field in the back end is the particular pick list value with the values hot, warm and cold, right? So I can use those values as a pick list choice set as well but still I need to differentiate between what all choice sets are, pick list choice sets are and record choice sets are, right? So I'll be taking radio buttons from my screen, okay? label as rating 
I need to create the new choice resource resource type as choice API will be hot and uh, you have you know that choice label so I need to showcase the choice label on that particular radio button as hot so choice set as hot here choice label now data type will be text here and what is the choice value choice value will be hot because I need to map that particular value of hot with hot only in the back okay so I'll be hitting on done for this so one choice is created now we need to add the another choice that is hot hair you know with the radio button add the another choice taking the new choice where resource making as choice making it warm as a API warm as a value here also warm and hitting on done again one more choice I have created need to create one more choice that is called new choice resource that is choice API will be called called as label choice value as called okay I'm making it done so right so all the three buttons I have created as a choice button here for rating so now what I need to add is that I need to add as the account name for which account I need to create this particular opportunity so that in the back end that particular opportunity will be mapped to that particular account only okay so I'll be taking here from here as pick list and dragging and dropping the pick list right up there on this okay so for the label I need to name as account name Correct. Here the component type will be pick list only. Okay. I need to create the choice set for this. There will be the new choice record. That is of record choice set because you know that <coughs> for adding the account we have lookup as well, right? But now what I am doing is that I'll be taking all the values from the account here and showing those account value as a pick list record choice set okay and for the lookup also I'll be creating one more mid video in that I'll be explaining how we can use the lookup as well in flows right so making as request choice set making account name object will be account so here you know that conditions are met so now what I'll be doing is that none get all the records so I'll be taking all the records this is the sort order not sorted sorted everything I can do from here that's not an issue so this is a maximum number of choices how many number of choices I want to add I'll be adding all the choices no need to add anything right here but you if your use case is something like that you can be able to add as well so this is the choice label in which I need to add the name so that I need to showcase the account name here right so this is the data type text so here I need to select the account ID so that I can be able to map the account ID with the account name so these are store more account fields if you want to add the more account fields you can add the more account fields as well according to your requirement so what I need to do is that I need to add on done here so I am good with that particular account name as well here okay so that is done so now what I need to do is that I'll be adding one more pick list from here for having the pick list choice set that is the stage for the opportunity okay creating the new choice set that is pick list choice set name will be stage name from opportunity 
data type will be picklist field will be stage name sorting order will be whatever so i'll be hitting on done so i'm done with that particular field as well so what i'll be doing is that i'll be removing this particular pause button from the configure footer so i'll be hiding this pause button okay hiding this previous button as well here yeah. so only i have one finish button so i'll be hitting on done because my first screen is already created and ready for the description which i need to add there okay so now what i need to do is that i need to create the records so i'll be taking create records from data create opportunity how many records to create one how to set the record fields use separate resources and literal values what will be the object object will be opportunity okay now i need to map all the fields first i'll be mapping name with the screen component that is opportunity name okay i'll be adding again another field that is closed at closed at and value will be the screen component that is closed at okay now i'll be adding another field that is rating you know that for rating there are picklist value which we have created that is coming from the background hot warm and cold and there are choice which we have we have created that is cold hot warm right so i'll be having the screen component for this that is rating okay so i'll be selecting rating here now field will be account id and the value which we are selecting that is also the screen component that is account name okay adding one more field that is the stage name and again what we are doing is that we'll be again selecting the screen component that is stage here and i'll be hitting on done so you know that we have created the record we have added the screen one as well so what i'll be doing is that i'll be joining my flow So that is join okay so what i need to do is that i need to create so i'll be hitting on save create opportunity okay if you want to add the description that is the best practice to add the description i'll be hitting on save my particular flow is saved directly i'll be hitting on run okay so opportunity name will be shivam kumar close date will be let's say close date of 28th rating will be hot form cold i'll be making a rating at hot account name will be you know that all the accounts are coming from the background here whatever accounts i have in the system all the accounts are there so i'll be selecting a edge complication stage will be let's say qualification now you know that we have used all the choice set in this particular example one is the choices another is the record choice set and another is the picklist choice set so basically the main difference in these three choice sets in salesforce flow builder is that for the record choice set we'll be taking all the record from the background in the picklist value forms for the simple picklist choice set we'll be taking the picklist values from the field itself right and for the choice we'll be creating multiple choices in forms of radio button or whatever you want that, that is the basic difference 
okay so i'll be hitting on next right now i'll be moving to my opportunities refreshing this page you know that i have created this opportunity shivam kumar from here and account name will be h communication stage will be qualification i'll be hitting on the details button here so owner will be shivam kumar account name will be h communication now opportunity name shivam kumar and close date will be 12th okay 20th sorry now rating will be hot here right and you know that the field rating contains the pick list value and what we have given in the flow is that as a choice in form of radio button and mapping those values like hot warm cold correct and this account name is the lookup in this particular opportunity because you know that up account is the parent of opportunity and contacts right so that's why we have given this as the record choice set in our flow but still it is working as a lookup only so in our next video i'll be throwing some more light on the lookup that how we are choosing the lookup from account opportunity contacts or whatever custom fields we have, custom uh, objects we have in our salesforce system if we are creating any kind of custom objects right so yes guys so again i'll be moving into my flow builder first i'll be making sure that what we have done we have taken the opportunity name close date rating right for rating we have created some choice this is a map those choices accordingly now we have created the account name has a record choice set same goes with the stage pick list choice set and then i have saved this particular screen now for the record creation what i'll do i'll did just some kind of simple mapping so create record one using the separate resources and literal values object will be opportunity and map all the fields from the back end itself it's not a big deal it's a very simple flow examples in which i'll be explaining what is the difference between choice pick list choice set and record choice set okay so yes so thank you very much guys for uh, joining me with on this particular session so in the upcoming videos i'll be taking some more examples related to screen flow only because i need to make sure that yes we i'll be covering these this particular topic of screen flow in a very crisp and amazing manner so that every use case and scenario will be covered in my videos okay uh, so guys keep sharing keep loving thank you